Welcome to you, to Vicarage Road, the home of Watford Football Club. I'm Martin Tyler, and alongside me for the commentary is Alan Smith. Please welcome our visitors, Tottenham Hospital. Watford in our game today against Tottenham. Tottenham, well, they'll be working hard, I'm sure. Their last game was an away defeat against Southampton. Well, it was a, a narrow defeat, 1-0, but uh, in truth, it could have been a few more than that. They worked hard on the training ground, and I think they'll bounce back. I think they'll win today. Number 25, Jose Holabas. Tottenham in trouble defensively because they work so hard, they keep the ball. No, I think uh, the home side will have to produce something special to break through this defence. Here's Watford, and this is how they're going to line up. Costel Pantelimon plays in goal. Roberto Pereira plays with Tom Cleverley in midfield. We'll see how the striking option works with just one up front. This is today's Tottenham Hotspur team. Hugo Lloris starts in goal. Toby Alderweireld starts with Jan Vertonghen as the centre-backs. Victor Wanyama plays with Moussa Dembele in the centre of the pitch. And just one out-and-out -out attacker in the lineup. If you don't know Watford, we're just sort of outside north-west London. It's not that far away from Wembley. And Watford Football Club have had times in the, the lower reaches of English football but now they're back at the top table again yeah and I'm delighted about that it's only 15 minutes from my house so all power to Watford and our referee here is Jonathan Moss Nordin Amrabat Pereira into the attacking third Set passes marker Shots up! Well, he put it away brilliantly. That kind of chance has come to him so early in the game. But I have to say, he reacted perfectly. Really sharp right from the off. And they've taken the lead here. Just look at the way he's got past these defenders. Alan, and really maximised the situation he created for himself. Well, he did. It was, he was head down and some wonderful balance and footwork to beat a couple of defenders and knock the ball in the back of the net. Wonderful goal. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Well, we can hear what's happening up at the Hull City KC Stadium with Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Everton. It's been scored by Aaron Lennon. He was on the end of a good cross and directed the ball back across the keeper. Six minutes played, 1-1. Thank you very much, Alan. Throw for Tottenham. Moussa Dembele. And in he goes with the tackle. Nordin Amrabat. Tottenham Hotspur in possession here. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. So that means it's a corner now. And a chance to reflect now, Alan, on Amrabat's goal. Well, he'll have enjoyed it, bulging the net with the power of that shot. The keeper, slow to move to his right, to be fair. There's the ball in. Free kick awarded against Spurs. Spurs have to go back a long way for their history of league wins. 
now they are this group of players giving them a real chance to write their names into the record books of this league yeah, and if they go on to achieve success who knows what lies ahead in the in the coming years if they can continue adding quality to this team what is already a really talented one there's some potential in this move first touch was poor Niang. Stefano Akaka. It's great resilience to ride that tackle and stay on his feet. He's coming forward with some danger. And now the referee says free kick. Quick note for your diary. Make a note of this particular date. EA Sports, we've got the presentation of the Premier League fixture. It's Watford. They'll be facing Stoke City away from home. Yeah, it's got a good feel about it, that one. Look forward to joining you in the gantry for it. Shot off. They scored. It's a big moment for them in the match. They've pushed their lead now to two ahead. They've played well to this point. But sometimes a two-goal lead can be a dangerous one. We'll see. Oh, don't they look good when they fly in like that? Could easily have gone anywhere else in the stadium, but it's gone where he wanted it to go, that's for sure. Yeah, that's the sign of a natural finisher. That one-touch finish, it really was a beauty. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Here's Dyer. Victor Waniyama. Ericsson. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Niang. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition, now they're here. And that will be a goal kick. Here we've got Alan a chance to see Pereira's goal. Well, a blistering effort that's just swerved away from the keeper's left hand. Gave it straight to him, didn't they? Pereira onto the attack now. Shots on here. It's a fine strike, but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it, I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bulge in the back of the net. Not quite, though. Christian Eriksen. Tottenham given the throw. Kieran Trippier on the attack here. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Well, there's still time if they can get this goal. Not far away at all, but in these circumstances, Alan, nearly is not enough. No, they badly needed something there. And how many more chances are they going to get? As for Tottenham, their next game, Alan. Yeah, they're playing Chelsea in their next match. I can see only one winner. I think they'll find it pretty easy. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. 
there will be a minimum of so, four minutes. Now they've got a chance time. in this part of the pitch. Here's Ali. And here's the shot. A oh, well done, the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball. That's a good spot by the defender. And the referee is blown for half time. It's 2 0 here. Well, this is one of those exceptions that proves the rule, they hope, because the rule has been they don't concede. In this first half, they have conceded. It has, and they've come up against a vibrant home attack here. And uh, I'm sure there'll be more goals in the second half. Well, this is the uh, second half now, and it's underway. News for you from... Uh, Leicester from the King Power Stadium and Alan McInally. It's a second goal for Leicester City. 47 minutes played, 2-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McInally, keeping us up to date as usual. Tottenham's corner. Stopped by the goalkeeper. Stefano Akaka. Nordin Amrabat. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Home team ready to make a change. He's coming forward with some danger. Let's out, this will be a throw. Well, this is the time where the managers really earn their money. It's going to be an alteration to try and improve the team. Davis. They could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Shot on! We've had an hour gone here, and there's still 30 minutes left. It's looking good, this move. Good challenge. Berami. And that's given away possession. Song. The break is definitely on. Look at the space he's got. Matungan! Shots on here. And it's a goal. Well, it's a poacher's goal, pure and simple. And this lad has done it time and again during the course of his career. Well, that's an awesome goal. Well, sometimes, as a defender, you need a bit of luck, but they didn't get it there, and it fell at the feet of the man on the spot, the scorer. Start the game 2 1. <laughs> Cleverly. Yeah, Miguel Ankel Pritos. Well, let's hear what Alan McInally's got to tell us about from Old Trafford. It's a goal from Manchester United. It's been scored by Anthony Martial. He picked the ball up on halfway, turned the closest defender, and striding forward, beat the covering man for pace before hitting a low shot past the keeper. 67 minutes played. 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. Victor Waniyama, substitution that the home side want to make. Well, it's been very even. That's the way it's looked to us as a game, and the possession stats certainly confirm that. Yeah, I think if I had to guess at it, I would probably go. It's been about 50-50 in terms of uh, possession. Into the attacking third. Caught under no challenge by the goalkeeper. 
Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. And it's got away from him. Got the ball back by that interception. Keep an eye on the time here. We still could have a decisive moment in the short time that remains. Well, this is fascinating, and the crowd are loving the, the drama that we're watching here. Just a one goal in it in favour of the home team. Yeah, careful that they don't start celebrating too quickly and that the players feel they've won the game before they actually have. Here, the challenge is a good one. Well read, timely defending. It's a quick break. Spotted well by the defender, cut it out. Nordin Amrabat. There's some potential in this move. Defender to it first. Two minutes of added time. Sit on the board. You know, this could be the last chance for them to salvage something from this match. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. Referee has reached for his whistle and he's blown it. That is the end of the game. The final score 2 1. Good part of the season has gone now and they've lost and they can't go on losing matches like this. No, it can become a habit, a nasty one at this stage in the season. Just got to create one or two flaws that we saw out there. Well, the visiting team who based their game on this very strong defence. Uh, when the defence, as inevitably will happen at this level of the game, has a bit of an off day, well, you get beaten. Uh, they've been beaten here. Yeah, I think they're just going to take this one on the chin and move on quickly.